What's up, TW fans? Jake here, bringing you this week's episode of What's New Tackle Warehouse. So we're getting into June. Summer's about to be in full swing. Lead season's about to be full bore. I mean, some of the lakes down south, they're already out there deep cranking, throwing big spoons, throwing Carolina rigs, all that fun stuff, swim baits and catching those big schools of bass. So we got a bunch of baits for you today. We got a bunch of different baits, some, uh, some new reels. We got some boat accessories. So let's jump right into it. Kind of going to start off on the ultra finesse end of the spectrum from depths. This is a new rebound worm. So tiny little worm, bunch of stuff you can do with this thing. You can actually wacky rig it on a little tiny hook. You can drop shot it. I think I would throw it on a little tiny ball head. That'd be the best option, you know, drag it around, bounce it off the bottom. Uh, the way they pour this plastic though, to give it such a great action, they're actually pour, uh, they put a lot of, I think it's, I believe a 30% salt content down into the tail section of this bait but there's zero salt up in the head of it. So you do get a lot of tw tail quivering action, but uh, without having any salt up in the head, the, the head of the worm's gonna be a lot more durable. We know some of the worms out there on the market. I mean, some of my favorites, you throw it out there, you catch one fish on it, they're gonna be blown out and you gotta go through and go get a new worm. This is gonna give you a little bit more durability, help you catch a few more fish, but you can catch bluegills, red ears, crappie, bass, whatever you want. Uh, you can catch a whole bunch of stuff on that little guy. The next one we got from Depths is our new Clap Craw. This is one I'm actually super pumped about. So I really like the profile of it. It's really streamlined. It's gonna be great for like flipping, pitching, throwing into really heavy cover when you need that more streamlined profile to slip through that dense vegetation and you don't want all those appendages that are gonna get hung up and get you snagged and, and just make you less efficient when you're out there flipping on the water. This little Clap Craw, like I said, streamlined body. It's got those two, two appendages on the end, so they're gonna produce a nice action. When it gets on the bottom, you have these little, little antennas on here that separate, and then you have all those little legs on the side. So just a little bit of water movement and current, you're gonna get those micro vibrations out of there. So if you wanna trim this down and maybe put it on like a small finesse jig, you can put it on a wobble head, you know, like a Texas rig or something like that, you are gonna get that secondary, super subtle action for out of this craw. But like I said, you can do a bunch of different stuff with it, Gonna be great for flipping and pitching and things like that, but also gonna be great for like Texas rig, small jigs, stuff like that. Sweet little craw bait from Depths. Last one from Depths, one that I'm super pumped about. So this is the B Custom Spinner Bait. So we finally got these in a tackle warehouse. We, uh, we've never had these before. The spinner baits have been out for a long, long time in Japan. We finally got our hands on some of them. It is a super cool spinner bait, and it, but it is expensive. It is a depth lure. I believe they come in at like 25 bucks, but there's some super cool stuff going on with it. So uh, the frame and the wiring on it, it's a super strong wire. It's got a lot of flex in it, but it's, it's got a lot of flex, but it's not, gonna, it's not a weak wire that's gonna break after a few, few fish. So you can, you can still throw this thing out there, you know, catch big fish and it's not gonna bend and break and, and go, get out of tune for you and you're not gonna lose your $25 investment. Uh, down on the head, these, these baits are made for fishing in that deeper water. So it has this long kind of like a spoon shaped head. So we have them in, I believe, half ounce up to three quarter. So you throw these things out there, drag them along the bottom and that kind of spoon shaped, uh, you know, that angle on that head, it's gonna come over and cover really, really well. So like I said, ledge, fit, ledge season's coming up. If you're out there fishing deep, this is gonna be one that you can bomb out there, you know, fish it in 20, 30 feet of water and catch a ton of fish with it. It's gonna be a great spinner bait from that. One of the coolest things, these blades on here, so they're blades, they have, you know, checkered scales, you know, 3D gills. They actually have 3D eyes that you would get on like a hard bait lure on the blades. So really cool design. And as you can see here on the wire, they don't have a bunch of beads and spacers to separate these two blades. This last bead, um, you know, after the, the first blade, that bead is actually soldered onto the wire. So you don't have, all that additional hardware onto the frame itself. So it's like just less stuff that's gonna be on the wire frame itself. So you're not gonna snag as much, you know, grass and vegetation and stuff. If you're ever throwing a spinner bait with a lot of, you know, beads and things on the wire, when you're going through vegetation, you gotta constantly clean it off. Not gonna happen with this one. Down on the hook, you know, super sharp hook, as you would expect from a depth slur. Kinda has that O'Shaughnessy style bend to it. So you're gonna hook and land a lot of fish. Got a nice keeper on there. So you run, you know, soft plastic swim bait, whatever you want as a trailer. Really cool spinner bait there from, from Depths Lures. All right, next up, let's go into some Guggen stuff. So we got two new plastics from Guggen. This one is the new Blazin Worm. So this is like your reeling style worm. It's eight inch worm, or I believe maybe six and three quarter, I believe is the size of it. 
But this is gonna be good for, you know, anyone who's fishing that really shallow cover and you're trying to like buzz worms through lily pads and grass and stuff like that, this is a great option. So you can rig it weightless. It, it, is, uh, it is a heavy worm, so you can throw it weightless and if you wanna keep it up real high, or you throw it on like an eighth ounce or quarter ounce, uh, you know, bullet weight, get it down a little bit deeper, fish it through all that vegetation. This big tail on here, it's double flanged, so it's gonna have a super aggressive kicking action. So some of the swimming worms on the market aren't gonna kick as much as this one, and it's loaded with the slaunch sauce that all the Guggen baits have. So when they bite, they're gonna hold on for a long time. The next one is their Nuke Bomb, uh, Nuke Bomb Craw. So this, if it looks familiar, the front end of it is uh, is the same type, the same type of claw design as the Bandito Bug, which is already a phenomenal bait. They're kind of building off of that design and building something specifically for punching. So as you can see, nothing on the side like the Bandito Bug has, none of the arms on the side. So the thing you can punch it right through cover, and there's nothing to get it hung up. It's a nice streamlined body, you know, nice and wide, heavy ribbing. So it is gonna, it is gonna move a lot of water and make and create a strong vibration. Those legs, they kick like crazy. And with that heavy ribbing and that dense body on there, you can fit a big flipping hook in there and it's gonna hold the point in there and it's gonna provide a little bit more durability so it's not gonna get torn up as bad as some of the other uh, soft plastics we're punching on the market there. All right, new swim bait. This one's pretty sweet. We got one from Fish Arrow. So this is the Fish Arrow Riser Jack Junior. So we got the regular Riser Jack a few years ago. Now we got the Junior size. If you're not familiar with the, uh, with the Fish Arrow, uh, Riser Jack series. This bait was actually uh, designed in collaboration with DRT, who makes the the Clash and the Tiny Clash. So this is just a smaller version of that of that Riser Jack, which is awesome. I mean, it's perfect size. You're gonna catch, you can catch one pound fish on this. You can catch ten pound fish on this. Just like that smaller profile, you're gonna get a lot more bites and just something that's not as big as the original Riser Jack. So this this bait's super super versatile. You can do a bunch of things with it. So. You, when you, if you fish it right out of the package, this is how it comes. You can, you can wind it in and you fish it and it's got this bill on here and it goes down two, three feet and it kind of fishes like a big magnum square bill. Um, you know, fishes like, you know, a couple feet down like a crankbait. It gets super, you know, heavy, you know, strong swimming action. That tail kicks side to side and it just produces a lot of vibration and it just draws fish in and gets some big bites. But you can also take the bill out of it and you can fish it right across the surface. So. You swim it right across the surface and you just get a little bit of tail kick movement out of it. It mainly just, just jams right across the surface and you get a big waking V out of it. So multiple things you can do with it. I mean, you can add weights to it if you really want to get it down. I mean, uh, I mean it's coming from Fish Air, it's from Japan, so it's got some sticky, sticky sharp hooks on there. A bunch of really cool colors. This is one of those baits, if you want to get one, get it while you can because it's that one of those deals where we don't know when we're gonna get more of them. You know, they're super limited production, so get one of these while you can. All right, some more stuff that's gonna be good for summertime fishing. So from Fish Lab, we got their new flutter spoon. I believe it's called the Bio Flutter Spoon. Um, this is a super cool little spoon. I mean, when people get out there on the ledges, everyone wants to throw those big eight, 10 inch spoons. I mean, this little guy, it's gonna get you more bites, especially when the fish are pressured. There's a few different things you can do with it though. The way it's balanced and weighted, not only can you throw it out and it flutter, just like a traditional flutter spoon gets a nice wide flutter out of it, it actually kicks and swims uh, when you reel it back to the boat. So you can go out deep, you know, vertical jig it, fish it like a flutter spoon, but you can also run down the bank with it. You can wind it, you can do a yo-yo with it, a bunch of different things. They also come in a two pack, so you're gonna get a two pack with it. They got a bunch of sweet colors, you know, nice hooks, ready to go right out of the box and love having the two pack because if you break one off, Got another one ready to go. All right, a few more things here from Fish Hammer. First one here, Mag Finesse Worm. So, like I said, everyone wants to be out there with the big cranks and the spoons, swim baits and all that, but there is times when the fish get beat up or they're just not in the mood to bite and you gotta slow down and give them something, you know, give them something that, uh, that's gonna trigger those lethargic fish into biting. This is gonna be the deal. So, the Mag Finesse Worm, these are hand pour baits from, or it's a hand poured worm from Fish Hammer. They got a bunch of sweet colors. Uh, you know, this one's eight inches in size, so it's gonna be great for those like mag shaky heads, Texas rigs, my favorite Carolina rig. I love throwing out, you know, dragging a Carolina rig out in the summertime. That's gonna be one you just gotta have in the arsenal for when the fish are not biting that good. All right, next up from Fish Hammer, we got their new claw hammer craw. So, uh, you know, similar to this, this nuke bomb craw, but it's a little bit smaller. So if you're looking for a little bit smaller flipping bait, 
this is gonna be a great option. So it'll be perfect for like a three aught, either EWG or a straight shank flipping hook. With this little bait, you know, it's got those nice appendages on there, so they really are gonna, they're gonna kick really well. Got the heavy ribbing in, the, in there, but the solid body through the middle. So it's gonna hold the hooks really well and not get torn up that bad. That smaller size, it's gonna be great for like your smaller, maybe swim jigs, vibrating jigs, throw them on, you know, little Texas rigs, throw them on the back of a spinner bait and stuff like that. I like having these little craw baits kind of as, as trailers, but you know, something a little bit smaller when everyone's got, you know, full size brush hogs and all that kind of stuff, go with something a little bit smaller, might be able to get you a few more bites. Sticking with the finesse theme from Fish Hammer, we got their new, uh, their, I believe it's the Mad Rhino finesse jig. So sweet little jig, like I said, you know, if you, if you need to downsize when the fishing stuff, this is gonna be the way to go. One thing I do like about this pack of jigs, comes in a bag in a two pack. So, I mean, I don't, if you've been fishing more than a few days, you know, you probably broke off a jig by now. So it's nice to have a two pack of jigs. This jig's actually built on a ball head design, 60 degree line tie, pretty much a super versatile jig. You can do just about anything with it besides punch it through a heavy mat. You can flip docks with it. You can throw it into brush. You can drag it on rocks. You can fish it through some light weeds, but you don't want to punch it right through the middle of it, you know, a big cheese mat. But these are gonna be great for any of those times where you just need that more downsized profile. A little bit smaller, has that spider cut skirt on there, so just not as, uh, not as intense as a big full size skirted jig. Got a nice mustad hook on there, nice weed guard, got some really good color. So, you know, have it, make sure for sure have a few uh, finesse jigs in the arsenal for summertime fishing, especially when they're beat up and they don't wanna bite. So we got a new reel to talk about from Dobbins. So we got the new Dobbins Maverick spinning rod or spinning reel, I mean, I'm sorry. So these are made to match up with the Dobbins Maverick uh, rod series. So we have Dobbins Maverick uh, casting rods, spinning rods, we got spinning reels, and the casting reels should be here any day. Really nice spinning reel. It's CNC aluminum uh, gearing on the inside. I believe it's a six bearing system. It's actually incredibly smooth. You know, this is the first reels to come out from Dobbins and they did a really good job on it. There's actually a machined aluminum uh, spool on the top. So, you know, Got that rigid strength, but cutting down some of the weight. Really nice features. On the drag, it's incredibly smooth. Got that loud click on there. I believe they come in at 99 bucks. Tremendous value with this reel. Got a nice EVA knob, so if it's raining outside, if you're sweaty, you're always gonna have a nice grip on there. Um, in, the, in the box itself also comes with a nice reel bag, so not a lot of things, that, something that not a lot of reels are gonna put out there for 99 bucks. So, bunch of great options. Uh, we have them in, a bunch of different colors. So if you want to mix and match your color scheme and kind of match it up to a different series of rods, we have them in black and blue, black and red, and black and green. So awesome reels there by Dobbins. All right, last up, big batteries. So from BioNO, we're starting to carry lithium batteries now. So if you got a boat and you've been wanting to upgrade to lithium batteries, if it's highly recommended, especially by all the top rows to run lithium batteries. And when you're checking out lithium batteries, compared to say your, your standard lead batteries, AGM batteries, there's tremendous benefits when you're switching over to a, to a, a lithium battery. So these ones we got from BioNO, uh, we got them in a few different sizes. You can set them up to run your electronics, set them up to run you know, your trolling motor. But what you're gonna get out of these um, compared to like a lead battery, first off is gonna be significant weight savings. So you know a standard lead battery that you'd run on, run on your boat, you know, most of them are gonna be between 75 and 100 pounds. Uh, most of these lithium batteries are gonna be anywhere from like 20 to 28 pounds. So you're already dropping a bunch of weight out of your boat right there. So we actually have 36 volt battery. 36 volt battery we have comes in at 22 pounds. So you're gonna take that 36 volt battery and you're gonna replace three batteries that probably weigh 90 pounds a piece. So you're gonna, you're gonna dump a huge amount of weight out of the back of your boat by switching to a lithium battery. Um, another great thing about these lithium batteries is that they're gonna give you 100% discharge the entire life of, you know, of, its, of its charge when you're out there on the boat. So, you know, throughout, when you get towards the end of the day and you run standard lead batteries, you know, the batteries are starting to lag, you're not getting as much power as you would at the beginning of the day. The lithium battery puts out 100% power until it gets uh, to the end of its charge and then, you know, then they go dead for the day. But they outlast the lead batteries they're also gonna outlast the lifespan of lead battery as well. So lead battery, you're gonna get you know two to three hundred charge cycles on them, which you know translates to maybe a few years from most anglers, depending on how much you fish. On the lithium battery, you're gonna get 
two to 3,000 charge cycles. So if you add it up, you know, especially on trolling motor batteries, you're having to buy three batteries every few years versus if you buy one lithium, it's gonna last you, you know, maybe 10 years or two to 3,000 charge cycles, just depending on how much you fish and use it. Could be even longer if you uh, don't fish that much. So there is a significant price increase when you're looking at a lithium battery, but when you start adding up, you know, having to buy three batteries every, every couple of years, versus buying one that's gonna last you much longer, it's definitely the way to go. It is a bigger price, you know, initial cost, but the benefits are gonna outweigh, you know, outweigh using the lead batteries in the long run. But with these batteries, if you do decide to go with one, you gotta have the right charging system. So we do have the BioNO uh, uh, charging systems to go with them as well. You don't wanna plug in just a regular charger, uh, you know, with the, the components and stuff that's on the inside of it, you, uh, you'll mess it up and uh, it could cause problems, but you, we have the chargers that already set up for them, so we got everything you need if you wanna switch over to a lithium battery from BioNO. So make sure to check those out. If you got a new boat, you know, you wanna get maximum performance out of it, out of your trolling motor, out of your electronics, the BioNO lithium batteries are gonna be the way to go. All right, thanks for tuning in to this week's episode of What's New in Tackle Warehouse. For more information or to purchase any of these products seen here today, make sure to click shop or link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, let us know in the comments which one of these products you're most pumped about.